Welcome back everyone. It's Lala and I am going to go through my plotter system. Um, so the new year is uh, upon us just around the corner, a couple of days. And my plotter is remaining in it as part of my system. And I've had some individuals ask me, "Are you what's going on with your plotter? Because I posted either um, in the Japanese Facebook group or even my other YouTube videos, other systems, things I bought. Um, and so I, that question has been asked. So I thought this would be a great opportunity to go through um, how I'm using and continuing to use the plotter system. Um, so this year, I believe, I think it was this year when the plotter system USA store opened, or it could be like last year, sometime last year. Maybe, no, it was last year. Um, I think <laughs> last year, yes, um, when the uh, USA um, online store opened up and ever since then I've been happy, okay? So I'm going to uh, show you a couple things. Um, here is my plotter and I took my pen out of the pen lifter or the pen, you know, actually I actually have all these things label labeled in a list. Um, but in that insert piece here, I had it out because I was writing notes and just updating things for the new year. Primarily, I am going to be using this as my project planner. And when I'm out on the go, if I want to be um, more minimalistic, I'll be taking this because I will have my monthly schedule inserts the 2023 i used the 2022 all year this year and i use the um the weekly schedule and i'm going to i'm going to show you guys something so i bought the five millimeter dot grid the number for this insert is number zero two three and bring it up closer zero two three all your inserts will have a number so you can easily reorder or even tell somebody um, if they say, hey, what was the name of, what, what was that? I wanna make sure I get the right size and, and all that. Give them that number. And so um, they come like in a booklet. It's bound um, with their own binding system. So you can actually take these insert pads and this is called five millimeter dot grid refill memo pad. You could take this and just use it by itself because it's in a booklet form. And then it has the holes so you can pull them out and put them in your plotter or in any other ring planner that's appropriate for the size that you have. So here's a list of everything I have of the plotter products not using for 2023 i will not be using the weekly schedule refill and i'll tell you why because um i actually like bullet journaling a lot as in just the simple not the artsy kind the crafty kind but the simple just making a list just brief and in my schedule as I, over the last two months, I've been doing bullet journaling again. I, I'm kind of on and off with that. Um, so, um, part of the reason I got this pad was so I could, when I do want to have my schedule with me, I can use the dot grid. I like dot grid. Okay. So, anyway, um, so the leather binder I have of their product is the shrink. And this is the black uh, in Bible size, okay? And then, and I've shown you guys my products before, but just real quickly, um, you know, I have some cloth and paper goodies. And and if you're wondering what this is, this is um, where you can list your daily routines, weekly routines, you got monthly routine, and then you flip it, you have yearly routine, yearly notes, and then notes. And it's like a little folding 
doohickey. <laughs> and this is from Mom Ye Plans. Okay. Anyway, um, so I just keep that in here. Do I always pay attention to it? No. <laughs> um, and then I have some cloth and paper, you know, stuff. So I have a lot of stuff in here, you guys. Some of this stuff is plotter. Maybe if I turn it like this. Some of the stuff is plotter. Some of it is printables. And then, of course, um, oh, yeah, I forgot I have a um, little card insert. I have a little card insert. I'm not going to show you. The card insert is actually for pocket size. I took it out of my pocket ring um, planner. But, um, and then I have this zip. This is not from plotter. And then I just have you know, some things. I even have my um, my vaccination card for COVID in there, but it, I have some stationery in there as, as well. Okay. I have their lifter. Okay. And then it has the whole um, map doohickey on the front and um measurements and i can't remember what these measurements are i think they're whatever anyway and it has a strap so you use the strap to actually close your plotter but here's that pin one and which is really cool and it has some lettering on here and then on the back i think this is all about um ink um Pin tip size okay so anyway um, some of my favorite things I love about this one it is small these rings are itty bitty they're smaller than even the rings in my pocket um, I think Hill Holborn um, I have a pocket Holborn I have a um, a Motorn. I actually have my Motorn right here. Okay, so here's my Motorn, and my Motorn pocket. Look, those rings are. There's a big difference. Okay, so I like the slimness of the plotter. Because I can fit this in my my small t um, tote from Portland Leather, the mini, I be believe that's called the mini size. Um, and I can still put some other things in my tote. And this is not going to be bulky at all. I like the size. Primarily, I use this for projects and when, again, when I'm on the go. I love these. These are called the task manager or project manager folders. Um, so I kind of put some, you know, little decorations and, and such. But you can actually, and it's hard to see because um, my lighting is not great in here yet. Yet. <laughs> um, but you can actually use this and share it with individuals. And in the inside, it also has this whole line business um, where you can plot the dates and this is hard to see with this lighting but I've shown this before and people can actually have all the notes inside and say you're sharing the same thing or with family or maybe your partner you're working on a housing house project and you're sharing the same thing so you guys are on the same page and put down what needs to be done you can put how far you've gotten 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 through with it um and it has these plotting lines and it has the same format as the which are my favorite um insert the to-do list and so anyway i use this for various things this to-do list these are my favorite um bring it up to the light i know the light is not great but I'm going to have everything listed in notes. <clears throat> so you can go see from the website. I will list things, whether it's I'm still working on 
um, furnishing and decorating my apartment because I just moved in July from Portland in my vehicle, I mean from Texas to Portland in my vehicle with as much as I could stuff in my vehicle so there was no furniture in there, okay? I didn't even have a spoon. <laughs> um, so I have had to start over, like pretty much completely over and still have some of my things that I, I am keeping for Texas shipped monthly okay it's expensive okay whatever but i've made lists on you know different areas of my apartment the things i need and then i will check them off over here as i get them i love this um i have this stuff for personal stuff okay this one for social media so i will write down ideas of what videos i want to um, record and share with you guys and the details of that so I have that here and then also too, these have where you can see you can list who's all participating in the project so it has member and you can put everybody's name and you can put the name of the project here you can put main person's name here I'm sorry boom there you go and um, and then I have one for collections and this is, look, I'm using it for my book reading. Let me show you how great these um, to-do list inserts are for, um, even for your book reading. I'm an avid book reader. Sometimes I won't finish my books and I'll like, what book was I reading and where was I? So like I, ha I started on the miseducation of the Negro. I use a Kindle and I've gotten almost halfway through. I have not finished it yet this year. And this is books for 2022. Um, so I can go back and say, you know, I need to go finish that book. Cause I can see, I have not finished that book. Then I decided to start even instead of doing check marks, give, um, the book a score. That's another thing you can do. All right. Um, I have a list of places to visit, um, journaling prompts, stationary shops. Okay. I am so excited because I didn't realize here in Portland, there are so many different stationary shops, more than, um, and I can never say it right because it was also in Austin, Kinokinuya. <laughs> nope, it ain't, I'm not saying it right. Whatever, don't come for me. But there are some other stationary shops and one specifically, I put a star, Oblation Papers and Press. They offer Hobonichi products, okay? So I'm gonna have to go visit this shop. It's in Northwest, so that's um, downtown-ish. Um, so anyway, I'm gonna have to go there. So anyway, I made a list of different stationary shops. And then I have some extras, okay? So there's that. I love these. See, I can have, I can, categorize these different folders and I have some more I think it comes in a set of six so I have three more one I have specifically for my big project my family tree and um, I have that one in my Moterm rings planner okay and then you know and then I'm using this one this was a cheapy uh, ring planner um, to archive and then I have here you go see here's the the other one I'm not used yet of the project folder. And so anyway, here's all the inserts that I've archived this year. Some of these are the weeklies. So here's how those weeklies look. And, you know, it has a time grid on the bottom. And then it's actually the tiny grid. Um, tiny, tiny. And then it has where you can put your weather and then, you know, none of us could figure out this. Can, can you see it? They're like these. It's like five or six lines. No, my, it's not very clear. But anyway, it's some kind of mood tracker or something. And I could never find out. I Googled. It didn't make sense to me. Anyway, if anybody knows how to figure out how to use this little... I think it's a mood tracker. Please put in the comments below. But I'm not going to be using these this year. Um, they're nice inserts. Of course, the paper from Plotter is excellent. Um, but 
um, it, it just, I, it, I don't know. I just prefer to do journaling, bullet journaling format if I'm going to actually use it as a planner or I'm writing like down some errands. Um, I'll use the other papers. Okay. So anyway, but here's all of the inserts. You know, some of these are printables. Okay. And so what I have for all my inserts that I'm continuing to use, um, I love the, the plain refill memos. So these are just plain. There's no lines. And I will take a couple and put it in here and I already have. And I can write some quick notes or these are great if you want to write something down for somebody and give this to them. The little page. Again, you could take the whole thing with you. It's so cute. And you can see here where it would fit the holes. So you can put it either here or here, you know. Um, so I'll be continuing to use these and I still have a lot left. This is still the, the original purchase. Um, I don't use them very often. I got my 20, 23 monthlies and I wanna tell you guys what's great about these, and let me use, move my plotter out of the way. What's great about these, and let's see if I can come a little closer, is, so here's, I like, I like when they give an example of how the page is going to look, you know, when you're using them. Um, and then here's the back. So it gives you an example. And I'll use my phone, my cell phone, and use the Translate app. And I'll just read, like, what was this person's day like? And it gives me ideas how I can use the um, inserts. So that's just the front and back, you know, pages, right? Okay, so then you get your year at a glance, and you have Monday through Sunday um, abbreviated on the top for both columns. So here's 2023 at a glance, and then you get 2024, and I know you guys can't really see this. Hopefully that helps. You have 2024, and then here you have just like those to-do lists. You can actually use this like maybe for your goals for the year. So it says um, annual mission. And then it starts, these inserts start with December. And they go all the way to, I believe, March of the following year. And so let me show you. Yes, till March of the following year. Okay see that March of the following year and then um, you get some grid pages you get a couple and the grid pages have this little diagonal um, line so you can put your date and then after that you get that age chart okay that age chart, you know, that we see in a lot of Japanese planners. And then on the back, then you can put your personal information. Okay, there you go. Personal information. The paper is really thin. That's why you can get a lot of pages in the plotter in those little tiny rings. And then you get the magazine. And it's all in Japanese. You know what I like to do with these? I like to take pages like you know, after I use my translate, I like to take pages like this because I think it's really artsy or even the other side. And I'll put it behind like here. I'll put it behind some of those um, like I did here. Let me go out so this is from cloth and paper so and here's one from last this this year's um, magazine from plotter and like and then I'll just put it by hand there and then it gives you something visual underneath just I'm just saying that's what I do 
So it comes with the magazine. So it's not it's fun. To me, it's fun to use the Translate app and try to figure it out. Look at that, this whole page. And I don't know what that is, but on the opposite side, I'm sure it's going to tell you. Anyway. There you go. There you go. All right. So I'm going to be putting in, um, usually I don't put in the whole year. I will put, you know, maybe six months or whatever is comfortable to flip the pages. Um, and so I got my monthlies. I will continue to use these. I will not be using the weekly schedule this year. Um, and I got still plenty left from the to do's and after a while of using these you know the front will come up not a big deal because you don't need this anyway um except for the number right and so i still have you know a number of these still left so i ordered another pack and i have my six millimeter ruled I didn't use these very much. These can also be used for a schedule because it has one through 24. So that's your 24 hour timeline. So you can use this for putting your schedule on one side and then on the other side, you can put your task or notes and there are dot lines to help you divide the pages on this one in the, on the 12 to divide it right in half. And you have them all across the top and bottom. You can put your title here, whatever. These are great. So these can use for schedules, notes, however you want, but it has ready for you. If you want to use it, you're 24 hours. I'll continue using these. Um, I have my dot grid, going to be my favorite. I wouldn't be surprised if I end up buying another one this year. Um, well, next year for the year. My favorite to do's. I ordered another pack of those. Because I obviously have been using those. Okay. And the plane. Didn't do that. The plane and the monthly. So this is my set. Now they got a couple of in other inserts um, that um, they have one that uh, is a large wide one pad, and then you can actually fold the page in half and it will fit in the Bible size. I'm thinking about buying that one. And then there's the fifth edition insert pad I might get, but we'll see. So anyway, this has been a long video. There's my belt plotter. I believe this came with a binder when I got it um, last year. Here's my plotter goodies. You know what I'm about to do a little bit it's for projects and on the go. Um, and I love plotter. I love I love this. And look at this. This binder still looks good. Of course, it's going to show some scratches with, you know, on this brass part, but not very much, really. That doesn't look bad. It looks like it's used. The leather looks perfect. This is the shrink. So this is the lowest cost one, um, and it looks fantastic. It's it's worn fantastic. I, I'm telling you, I'm not disappointed with this product at all. That's why I'm still going to use it. And then there we go, my pen. Anyway, that's it. It's been a long video. If you have any questions or comments down below, if you know what that, those five lines that go um, vertical mean in the weekly schedule, please share it down below and how you do it. And let me know if you're going to be using Plotter. Is it part of your system? Um, are you going to maybe you just use the inserts with your own ring planner? Because you can use the Bible size in your personal size planners. Um, and I mean American size personal planners. So either it's going to be Japanese Bible or American personal size as we tend to know it by. Okay. Anyway, that's it. Long video. Didn't mean it to go that long rambling. Um, but I hope to come with a number, another video before the year is out, or I might just do a happy new year's one with showing you guys everything I, I have for 2023. Ooh. All right. Bye you guys. Hit the like button right down there. Okay.